Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, Carlos here. So I've been getting a lot of questions as to how exactly I set up the sound system for my live streams. Now, um, like I've mentioned in the streams themselves, or actually to a couple of folks, is that I actually can listen to my stereo system, which gives me the bass that we want and the feel that we want to get us into teaching our class. But also at the same time, I'm, I'm piping the, the uh, music directly into uh, Zoom. So the way I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna show you right now is if you have a MacBook and you're running OS X Catalina, so Mac, Mac OS Catalina, and the way you find that out is you just go, you click on Apple and about this Mac, then you have OS Catalina, or if it comes with the pretty picture of the Catalina Island in the back somewhere, that one back there, then you know you have Catalina. So this is what you're gonna have to do, okay? So if you have an older MacBook, such as say, and I have one, I just happen to have one here, such as a one that's running Capitan or a different version, um, I will show you how to set up for that one. It's actually a lot easier. Um, so if you're running anything that is uh, OS X Capitan or at all, uh, just a different model or older laptop, it's really, really easy to set up. Um, it's much, much simpler and much, cheaper to do than with Catalina. So the problem with Catalina is that the audio port that's built in auto detects what kind of input source it is, whether it's gonna be external headphones or it's gonna be an external microphone. So if you take a regular cord such as that and you plug it in to the system, and I'm just gonna bring up the settings, the system preferences here for sound, um, you will notice that on input, when I plug it in, it doesn't do anything, but on output, it says external headphones right up top. Okay, so if I unplug it, you see it goes away. So how do we trick it to know that it is a input source, to treat it as an input source? Well, this is what you're basically gonna need, a couple of things, and to set up also for my audio for me to listen to it on the stereo as well as on the, have it go directly into the laptop itself this is the three tools you're going to need the first one you're going to need is a splitter okay just a regular splitter then you're going to need two separate external cables or extension cables now the magic thing that we're going to need is this little thing now i actually went out and found this at Guitar Center, at my local music shop. I'm sure they have them at local music shops. Um, this adapter is what musicians use to record music on their laptops, or like GarageBand or something along those lines. You will notice that, the, that right off the top, and this is just really quick into sound speak, the tips are different. In this case, it's all about the tip. So you have what's called tip ring shaft. So tip ring shaft means that it's just an audio cable. Tip ring ring shaft means that it's an input cable for microphones. So you can go to Audio Center, you can get an adapter, maybe you can even find a splitter that has that tip. It'll work as well. Um, so I bought this, it's called the iRig 2. Works perfectly fine. As you can see, it's made for um, guitars. It also has an output for microphone, for headphones. So. Uh, right here on the side and at the top it has a pass-through so if I wanted to go to like an amplifier or another type of mic or anything like that it's on there so relatively inexpensive this actually cost me about I think it was like 40 bucks is really what it cost okay a little on the pricey side it was 40 bucks um, but I was able to get it immediately on Amazon they do have them a little cheaper but you're gonna be waiting like two three weeks to get it so if you notice right off the bat as I said it has a quarter inch uh, at the end well unfortunately we have the 3.25s here, or three mil the millimeter ones. So I had to get the adapter, which I plug in here at the bottom. So now the way I set it up, and in this case, I'm gonna use my phone to, to push the music into the laptop and into the stereo. So the way we go ahead and do that is, you're gonna take your splitter out of your audio source, whichever way your audio source is, it could be this, or in my classes I'm actually using the laptop itself, so um, up to you, whichever one you use. Um, so 
In this case, I'm just using the phone. Now it's, uh, now it's gonna split out the signal. I'm gonna take one end of that signal. One cable is gonna go into the iRig. So now the signal's coming out of the phone, through the line, into the iRig, into that TRRS tip that we have. Now, if you notice, as soon as I plug it in, instead of it being on the output side, it's gonna go straight into the input side. Now it's gonna say external microphone, okay? So now it thinks there's a microphone in it, which is gonna use it as the line in. Then I'm gonna take the other tip, the other end, I'm gonna plug that in, and I'm gonna connect that into the back of my stereo. Now, if you, as you can see, I have this set up where the music's gonna come out of the phone, one side is going directly into the laptop, the other side is going directly into the stereo. So, if I turn on the stereo, and I also want you to watch here, on this end, so if I turn on the stereo and I hit play on my phone, as soon as the Wi-Fi kicks in, you see the music is already going. You'll see that right here is seeing it as a line in on the input. When you go to zoom now, so we're gonna go to the zoom line, you're gonna go down here to the end, and you're gonna make sure that where it says select microphone is set to external microphone. And as you can see, when I unmute it, down here at the bottom, you see the green light is flashing up and down. And if you want to actually even take it a step further and test it, when you do the testing, you see that it's bringing in the audio. Now, real important, it's gonna take the sound as high as the music goes into it. So if you turn this up all the way, whatever audio serve, wherever the music is coming from, you have to make sure that you bring down the microphone volume on, the, on your laptop itself. This is gonna take some trial and error. You're gonna to have to play around, listen to it um, with your phone, like run it off your laptop, go check your phone or, or, or your other computers if you have one or ask your friend to see how it sounds. But that's what will be in there. So once you get that all set up, so in this case, I have to have it really, really low for it to sound clear on the outbound um, to the students listening. Um, but as you can see, I can sit here in my class, blast it all I want. I feel the music, I'm in on it. I'm having a great time. On the student side, the audio quality is almost MP3. That is actually um, dependent on their internet connection and the, the speed of your connection as well and how many people are connected. So the more internet you got, the better it's gonna sound. So hopefully this guy, this will help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. You can send me an email at clubcarlozumba at gmail.com. I'll um, be more than happy to help you out or find me on Instagram or Facebook at Club Carlos Zumba and I will be able to help you out. So, um, and then yes, if you have the older MacBook, I could definitely help you out with that one easier. You do not need the adapter. With that being said, have a great day. Bye-bye.